Most of those who drill holes in trees have the tools for the work. Woodpeckers and nuthatches are equipped to excavate in standing trees. Fortunately, they don't nest in all the holes they drill. If you're not a woodpecker or a nuthatch, but you are a cavity nesting bird, you probably don't have the means to make your own home. You have to compete for the leftover woodpecker holes. Even if you find one vacant, it may not be the right size. Regarding the entrance to your shelter, size matters. You don't want the hole any larger than necessary. A predator or an egg thief will check on your valuables, maybe even on you. Consider the humble chickadee. Chickadees are very small, less than an inch wide, smaller than the smallest woodpeckers. They can, and do, utilize woodpecker holes, but so do a lot of other birds, and the opening may be dangerously large. You're a small and vulnerable bird, and you need a Goldilocks hole size, but you're not endowed with the tools to drill it. What to do? You drill it anyway. You find a snag soft enough for your tiny bill to chip into, and you hammer out a cavity to your own specs. Chickadees are the only songbirds known to do that, to excavate their homes into standing wood. Reports of titmice or other songbirds excavating usually turn out to be old husband's tales. Documentation confirms at least three North American chickadees as primary excavators. Occasionally, a sharp-eyed and eared citizen scientist discovers a wee chickadee hacking into a punky snag. Bill Hohenstein, an accomplished bird photographer, shares his footage from Virginia of a pair of Carolina chickadees hammering their own home into a dead snag. We can't determine gender by appearance, but we can see that one of the pair is the minor, the other the designated cheerleader.